Hello guys, have you ever come across a brilliant idea or invented an enabled version of your idea that works? Have you ever wondered how can I get a patent for my invention? Or is my invention even patentable? Or how can I search if there are other existing patents for my invention? If these questions are relevant to you, smash that like button and the subscribe button. Because in this tutorial video, I will talk about 5 free patent search engines that you can use to do preliminary search. Before proceeding, just know that I'm not a lawyer and I'm no capacity providing legal advice here. If you need one, I recommend use of attorney or registered agent. The content has not been approved by any government agencies including the USPTO and the information carrying is only for information purpose only. Before looking at the search tools, let's take a minute to understand what a patent is. A patent is a limited duration property right relating to an invention granted by a governing entity in exchange for public disclosure of the invention. In the US, that governing entity is the US Patent and Trademark Office or USPTO. Therefore, a patent is a property right granted by the US government through the US Patent and Trademark Office to an inventor to exclude others from making, using, or selling the invention throughout the United States for a limited time in exchange for public disclosure of the invention. In the US, there are three types of patents, utility, design, and plant. Patent applications are examined for both technical and legal merit. Therefore, it is imperative that inventors give proper attention to patentability before filing for patents. There are two critical elements to know if your invention is patentable. First, review the list of what can and cannot be patented and determine if your invention falls into one of those categories. Second, conduct a preliminary research for previously patented inventions to determine if your patent already exists and therefore is not patentable. Now, patentable category of invention is a topic that warrants a separate tutorial video by itself. But in this video, we will dive into the second element, searching for prior art before filing for a patent. If you are interested in finding out particular US patent and application, there is no better source than USPTO's website. For that, you have to go to uspto.gov and in the landing page under patents, click on search for patents. Once you're there, it, lists, it gives you a list of um, resources that you can use, but we are going to use first three for this video. The first one is Patent Public Search. Patent Public Search is a revamped search tool that you can use with any browser. For this video, we are going to try to search a reference that teaches uh, an overhead projector, or more specifically, any reference that teaches about uh, a cap or hat that uses projector um, that projects on the head of the user. So we're going to do cap or hat near eight head and in the same paragraph also find projector. And once we hit the search, it will give us a search result. In this case, we get 100 results. And if we, we can browse through all these references, uh, individually go to text or image view. When we click next page, it will display pages of this document and in this case this 2019 document appears to be the closest reference that we can find. It shows that it is using a projector on the cap. If you have any questions or comments regarding this tool, just drop your comment below and I'll try to explain it. I can also make another video if that helps. Put your comments and let me know. We just looked at patent public search from USPTO but the second tool they provide is a patent full text search. Um, and for that we go to advanced search and on in the in the query text box we can put in text it gives you an example of what you can search or how you can search but in this example I'm gonna uh, do an email template signature search uh, that allows us to uh, create color template for email signature and when we do that search it's giving us a few hundreds of search patent search results and it's giving 50 results at a time for in each page. Um, the, the user interface in this case is rather uninspiring and the search options are limited. However, the, this US video patent full search uh, scores in being the source of truth when it comes to patent publications or patent documents. It is not a um, color-coded result uh, like in the previous case but you can use third-party tool or extensions in your browser and get that resolved. You can browse through 50 hits at each time 
uh, and 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 skim through the documents and see if any of these are relevant. You can further narrow down the source query. In this case, I'm narrowing down saying email and template in my in the title and signature and color um, in the in the rest of the um, patent document. And when I do that search, I get zero patent hits. So far, we have looked at um, the patent public search and patent full text search. We're, next, we're going to look at similar uh, patent application full text search from um, also USPTO. They have quick search, advanced search that we looked at earlier. And in this case, we're going to do quick search, which is very similar. In Tom 1, we'll say email, Tom 2, template. Our default operator would be AND in this case but we can choose uh, from several others. And we're gonna look for these terms in uh, all fields. And when we hit search, we'll get thousands of results. In this case, 37,312 patent applications that were published, uh, that is in the database. Uh, and like in the previous case, it's giving 50 results each page at uh, every time. We can go back and narrow down the search results by filtering the, the search term under titles rather than full text search and in this case when we do the search we are ending up with only one result which isn't quite relevant so we go back and instead of title we choose abstract for the template word uh, and we in this case we get um, more manageable 24 hit terms for uh, patent publications so those were through three different tools from us video the patent public search patent full text search and patent application full text search Next, we're going to look at a similar tool provided by European Patent Office, which is SPASNET. Um, SPASNET is an EPO-developed patent database that, that has been recently overhauled to make it useful for scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs. The new SPASNET allows us to do full-text search in multiple languages. Some useful options include smart search, advanced search, classification search, and machine translation of text. SPASNET is limited for performing complex searching requiring lengthy terms, operators, and analysis. However, it is still useful in certain situations such as for downloads, verifying patent information, and inspecting documents, or membership, legal status, citations, and national registers or file wrappers. In this example, we're going to do similar text search for template communications or email template with custom signature. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna add a bunch of um, source terms called, um, such as templates and emails, communications under different groups uh, separated by operators such as AND or OR and conduct search results. So we also add signature uh, and all these terms currently are in any text field and we're with those we are getting 7800 results found and obviously the results are not only european patent documents but also includes um, documents from u.s uh, patent office or china or other european countries um, so the 78 hits are um, a lot more to deal with so we're going to further narrow down the search results uh, and in this case we're going to look into title instead of all text for template and also um, add few other modifications. So let's say email would also be on a title abstract or claims. And when we do the search, we are down to 344 results in this case. We can further narrow down with uh, additional parameters saying signature are, are also to be searched for under title abstract or claims. Um, let's see, is there any other addition we can do? Well, template, we want to do an abstract, uh, title and abstract as well. And when we search, we, we are further narrowed down to 79 results in this case, which is a lot more manageable. So we can scroll through all the documents. If we click on the document, it will um, pop up on, on the right side. Obviously, this one is a US document. And when you click on that, it will open that document itself rather than the result page. And you can see the original document that was published by the US PTO um, in the original form. You can see the drawings, the claims that were made, um, and also descriptions and bibliographic data scene.
We looked at free source tools provided by the USPTO as well as the EPO patent offices. Next, we are going to look at Patent Scope, a similar free source tool provided by World Intellectual Property Organization or WIPO. The Patent Scope is a WIPO administered database that is focused on published PCT applications and patent documents from various national registers. The Patent Scope database provides access to international applications under Patent Corporate Treaty or PCT in full text format on the day of publication, as well as to patent documents of participating national and regional patent offices. The information may be sourced by entering keywords, name of applicants, international patent classification, and many other source criteria in multiple languages. In this example, like in the previous case, we are searching for email or communication template with custom signature. With our, with our search criteria, we are only getting two results. And one of them is international um, or Chinese application, like like you are seeing in the in the screen. The other example was a U.S. document. Uh, like in the previous case, we can we can view the document, uh, the drawings, claims, description, or bibliographic data sheet of each of these documents that is populated or or on the search results. We can also navigate through uh, various sections of the document or zoom the pages now if we go back uh, we i want to um, broad, broaden our source because we're we're only getting a few results so in this case i want to delete some of the source term and we are getting more results now in this case 90 results and if we scroll down it gives a nice uh, text highlight so that is easier for us to read Google offers a free patent search engine and you can access that by just typing patent.google.com. You can also enable or disable non patent literature search within the Google patent search. And for this, I'm going back to my uh, original example of uh, email template with custom colors. And what I'm doing is um, just typing in synonyms, email communications or messages, IMs, um, and adding other terms such as thread, thread, message thread or chat. Uh, all those are synonym of each other's. And so nice thing about it is as I, as I type and add more terms, it will update my source uh, dynamically. I'm also adding source term for template, signature and color and custom or customization. And when I do the search, uh, it will give me results. Now this results because we selected um, to show not patent literatures as well. The source result is also showing Google Scholar's uh, results, uh, such as books from other authors. Um, and we can also see uh, U.S. patent documents as well as U.S. Uh, publications or application publications. You can scroll down and see more results. Now, this is uh, about, about 160,000 results. Uh, so we can add additional filters, such as priority date. Uh, and what this does is filter our results prior to this priority date. This will narrow down uh, our search a, a little further. But as, as you go along, you can add more stuff. Um, you can also search by uh, inventors or assignee. Now, if you are interested in any one of these results, you can just click on them and view the document itself. You can also download the document from here find prior art or find other similar art. You can click on the images and it will show a zoomed version of that images. You can scroll through, through those images. Um, and you can scroll down and see the text. It doesn't enable text highlight by default, but you can use third party uh, text highlights. You can download uh, and view the, the original patent document in PDF format. Lens.org is a free patent search web service engine of Cambia, an Australian independent non-profit social organization. Lens allows you to search, analyze, and manage patent and scholarly data. Although you can create your username to customize it a bit, no account is required to use the features. Further registering for a free account also allows you to access additional features such as saved searches, exports, and history that are not currently possible in Google Patents. It sources its millions of patent data from various national registers, 
such as the USPTO, EPO, WIPO, and other databases from over 95 different jurisdictions. Advanced searching, neg native language searching, and filters are possible. It is fast and easy to use. One of its primary strengths is the ability to combine patents, sequence, non-patent literatures, citations, and visualizations, making it an attractive proposition as a discovery and an analytics tool. There is not much to complain about the free open source and evolving lens. It is only slightly behind other top databases in terms of reliability due to its frequency of updates, the extent of coverage, and missing features and fields. That's all for this video guys. Just to recap, in today's video, we talk about five free patent search engines or databases. More specifically, we did demo search exercises using few search tools provided by various patent offices, such as USPTO, EPO, or European, European Patent Office, and World Intellectual Property Organization, or WIPO. We also did demo search exercise using third-party search tools provided by Lens.org and Google Patents. Hope you learned something new and useful from today's video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. As always, keep learning and ask questions below if you need tutorial on anything specific related to patent processing. Until next time, take care.